And welcome back to the castle, everybody. This is Nightsaber Z42. Back with some more Star Ocean till the end of time. Anyways, we're in Whipple Village. And we need to go back to our ship so we can fix the music box. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We've basically done everything that we can do here except for this chest, which I just found. Um, so basically, we're going to go and head back to our ship to get some parts that we're going to construct with our ship. And then we'll head back and um, fix the doodad that needs to be fixed. Just because they were nice and let us sleep. Or let us borrow their bed, or they fed us, basically. Um, so can't go over there just yet. So we're actually going to make a quick trip all the way back. And I'm going to try to avoid the enemies in this area as well. Uh, here it is. Alrighty. Oops, got the big map. I don't want the big map. Is it enemy? Yeah, all we get to fight are these slimes and these noblemen, I think they're called. The little dudes that we just straight up murdered. Because, you know, I guess that's not part of the uh, peace accord or the uh, galactic accords or whatever. <laughs> here's our safe point. And here's our ship. Uh, what? Oof, ouch. What happened? The pod's parts and equipment have been stripped. There's no way the inhabitants of this planet know what this stuff is. It makes sense if they just smashed it up. Some mysterious bloke has stripped our uh, ship of parts. So the only thing we can do is go back to Whipple Village and maybe put in some inquiries. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm, straight up murder this guy. Mr. Nobleman. Come here. And boom, boom. I won't forget this. Yep, yeah, you will, because you're dead. <laughs> It just, it just tickles my fancy that, like, we're straight up killing an inhabitant of this planet. I mean, I'm sure the uh, Galactic Federation or whatever is going to have something to say about this when we get back. Haha, <laughs> if we get back, no spoilers. I don't know, if you've ever played any of the Star Oceans, they all seem to have a common theme where they mix fantasy with, whoops, wrong way, fantasy with science fiction. And we'll see a little bit later, like, what I mean by that, which is pretty interesting. Alright, let's go back and talk to Nicholas and see if he knows what might have happened. I believe it was this house, right? Hello there. What a relief! You are well! Norton's gang was lurking around the forest in the direction you left in. We were worried. Nicholas, could you please tell me more about Norton and his gang? Who are they? I do not know everything myself. He... Norton appeared suddenly in our village about half a year past. He ordered the village to supply him with food. Of course, we refused at first. The village needs its supplies to survive the harsh winter. Norton was in fact ordering the village to die. But when people refused him, he called upon this mysterious light. And those it touched disappeared, one after the other. Carl, Siren, Kurt, all gone. And of course, we told our Lord, but he said the idea of people disappearing into thin air was nonsense and didn't want to hear about it. 
Now some of the villagers have even joined Norton's gang. A mysterious light that makes people disappear? Nicholas, when you first met me, you asked me about my clothes and ears, right? Ah, yes. Norton wore clothes made out of a strange material that was neither linen nor cotton, just like the clothes you wear. And his ears were shaped like yours. That is why I did not trust you at first. I apologize. Don't worry about it. Nothing. I was just thinking. But thinking isn't going to help anything. He may be dangerous, but I'd better go meet this Norton guy. I might even find a way off this planet. I'm really sorry, but it's going to take me a little more time to fix your music box. Can you wait just a little longer? Norton's gang carried off. Did it belong to you? No. I thought it might be, but it wasn't. Don't worry. I'll fix your music box. Nicholas! I'm hungry! Let's eat! Ah, yes. Very well. Let us eat. So Fate basically thinks that Norton doesn't belong on this planet, so we're going to go and investigate. If you couldn't pick that up, well, that's pretty much what's happening here. So, let's go have a talk with Norton and his gang. Norton Antivirus. Uh-oh. So, where's Nicholas? Has he gone somewhere? When I woke up, he was already gone. I hope he hasn't disappeared too, just like Mama and Papa. Nicholas would never leave you like that, Mina. It'll be all right. I'll go find him for you. All right, so um, we're gonna prepare a little bit. Um, we're gonna save real quick and we're gonna buy some stuff at the general store and we did get quite a bit of some money so that's pretty good 600 full is nothing to scoff at and I think this is the wrong yeah this is not the, actually this is the house with the save point so let's go ahead and do that we'll save real quick and then I'm gonna buy some items that are gonna help us on our journey up to find Norton and his gang I think the blue marker was the uh, general store right Nope, okay. This is just the random house. Okay, that's right. Um, oh gosh. Where is the general store? Is it the green one? Yes, here we go. General store, let me in. I need the berries and stuff. Um, and I think... It says it's gonna go up the clone generator is basically like a phoenix down fresh sage okay and the expensive stuff so yeah we're gonna buy the ring mail wait okay i gotta do that blackberries kind of like oh gosh is it the blueberries that heal i can't remember Purchase, yes, please. Gosh dang it. I wish they would just tell me like straight up what it does. Um, I need to equip my armor. Yeah, because I didn't have any armor, so yeah. I'm getting some great stats, that's for sure. And let's check our items because blueberries. Okay. Blackberries are MP recoveries, and blueberries are HP recovery. Okay, so we want the blueberries. Thank you. Could have been... It's literally what they could have just said on the buy screen. 
So I'll take, I think, let's take five blueberries. I don't need any MP recovery because they don't have access to symbology just yet. So we're not going to bother with that. And we're going to head on over to where we saw those roguish looking gentlemen lurking around in the forest. I believe they were up here and look, they are gone. Runes of Kofir. Oh my gosh, we have some loud music. But there's all sorts of stuff to find over here, like these blackberries that are kind of useless for us right now. I mean, I, re I really do like the music. Unfortunately, it is like really, really super loud. So we see numbers. Those numbers are going to be very important here in just a second. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Real fight. All right. Yeah, we're gonna straight up kill that guy. Oh, he managed to hit me before I could hit him. Oh. <laughs> I bet he does want some. Boom, there we go. We got him. Alright! We did it! We survived! That only gave us 2 XP, by the way. Can you believe that? Killing 2 dudes only gives 2 XP. Um... I think it's time I started skipping some of these battles. So I did manage to get a battle trophy for the, in that last fight. Basically 10 killing blows, so it pretty much sounds like I just defeated 10 enemies. Um, there's a treasure chest over here. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Ripe berries. Which, what does that actually do for us? We have ripe berries. Oh, whole party gains 30% HP. For some strange reason. Yeah, don't ask me about that. And I'm going to try to get as much of the map um, explored as I can. Just for completion's sake. And that leads back to the beginning area. This guy's just standing around. Alrighty, we leveled up in this last fight. So we have Blade of Fury. And we also got another battle trophy. Yay, look at that. We're getting all the battle trophies early in the game. <laughs> Um, so let us go. Skill setup, I believe it is. Battle, and we have Blade of Fury, a light speed sword. Um, hold the attack button down to initiate. Repeatedly tap the attack button after initiation to increase the number of attacks. That sounds like a X attack to me. And we don't have any support skills, which is okay. So that's what we're gonna try to do and I'll try to show that off in the next battle so anything all oh, the treasure chests on the other side of course it is all right Real fight. so we have bandit and nobleman oh my gosh and there we go we just hold the button down just a little bit Boom. So just keep tapping the button and you'll actually do all the damage. Or it'll kind of string off into like three attacks. Which is pretty nice. I mean, as your first ability, it's fairly good. Um, we'll be switching it out for bigger and better stuff. Aqua berries. And there was actually a chest back here that I couldn't see. More aqua berries. Aqua berries. What does that do? Aqua berries cures poison, so basically your antidote of this game. Um, I see another treasure chest right over here. Blackberries MP recovery for us, um, which we don't quite need. All right, continuing on. Just had a couple battles to deal with. I've, is that the whole entire area? It looks like it. So let's go this way. Um, is there a number on this one? Nope. There's no number. Um, that goes back this way, which we haven't explored yet. I'm going to explore all of this area first just to get it out of the way. And then we have these mushroom guys. These little mushroom things and their babies. Oh my gosh, they make a weird sound. Oh, that's right. They drained the MP. So this is one of the enemies that will drain your MP. So remember, 
um, you can actually die one of two ways. Um, HP, uh, when your HP gets all the way down to zero is one way. When your MP goes down to zero is also another way. So we definitely don't want our MP to take a hit because it's the shorter of the two stats that we have. So yeah, now we're down to 71 MP and 185 HP. So those mushrooms are bad news, but we can take them out if we know what we're doing. Basically just stick at long range and use your heavy attack to launch them into the air for a wombo combo. So what I do, I'm actually contemplating whether or not I want to use one of my berries. Oh, I saw a bandit over there chasing me. There's another area. This game is kind of really weird with its uh, area scripts or whatever. I, there's a chest over here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Cooking ingredients obtained. Don't know what we're going to use that for. Alright, um, let's go ahead and try not to attack that. I'll attack this guy. Oh, there was nothing back here anyways. Okay, whatever. What a waste. There's two areas I have not been to. I'm going to go to this area over here to the east first. Because I might loop back around. And if you really wanted to, you could uh, go all the way back to Whipple Village, if I'm not mistaken, and rest and save there. Oh, the bridge is down. Attack the nobleman, gain his money. So, sometimes, or actually all the time, whenever you win a fight, you gain some MP and HP back. Sometimes, you'll get an increase to those um, recoveries. At the end of battle and I actually had one in the last fight that I just did so I got a little bit more HP and MP back can't go this way I did see another noble man let's take him out okay, I've explored all the way down there let's go to the north and that music's still going all right we got ourselves a structure of some kind another nobleman I actually want to get back here and I actually think I forgot to mention something. This Blades of Fury actually cost HP to use. Um, it cost 20 HP, I believe, which really, I guess, we should be limiting how much we use that. Because, uh, yeah, if we're not careful, it's gonna drain us and we're gonna find ourselves in a very big pickle. There's an event over there. Um, we'll come back to that in just a second. I don't think I can go through the front door. Nope, can't go through the front door. Uh, there's another noble man. Let's attack him! All right, it's quite a few number of battles in this area, but hey, I mean, that's kind of the entire game. At least we can see the enemies and I'm not getting interrupted. Like, I know exactly when I'm going into a fight so I can actually edit this video, which is really nice. I'm going to use one of my blueberries because I know I'm getting into a fight up here, I believe. So let's go ahead and meet this young, fine young group. Who are you, kid? What do you want? This is Lord Norton's turf, so beat it or else. Oh my gosh, that, those eyes and those ears. I don't even know what that guy on the right's doing. It's like, I'm gonna shoot you with my finger gun. I don't want to fight you guys. But I will, because I'm gonna kill you. I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here. A little boy? Yeah, a little boy. Oh, you mean Nicholas. Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Norton. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. 
What? It's the kid's own fault. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry. He'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. Rotten little... I got a bigger sword, just saying. Whoa there. Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? Wanna see that brat? You gotta beat us first. Alright. Talks. what gives you the right? Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. Too bad I didn't just make a gun so I could shoot these fools. Alright, here we go. Mini boss time. Um, we have three of them in this fight. So. Um, yeah, our combo works wonders against these guys. And yeah, one of them just straight up died. I think it was the annoying one, too. There's another one. And then there's this guy. Oh, ouch. The only thing is we don't have a block button. So that's actually one thing that the uh, Tails game does quite well is that there's a dedicated block button that you can use. Unfortunately, there isn't for here. All right, so we got some skills. Scan, enemy, first aid, and aerial. And I'm going to take a look at all three of those here in just a second. Oh, uh, we didn't kill them. Unfortunate. So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him. All right, so we just got three skills. Um, I think none of them are battle. What about stats? Oh yeah, we have some SP. I probably should have looked at that a little bit. Um, yeah. We can't actually use that for anything. Um, so we use SP to buy some status increases and I just use mine for HP. So it increased my HP by 50. What if, if I had actually remembered that I had that, I would have actually looked at that. So uh, select anti-attack aura. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, symbiology. All right. It wasn't anything. Okay, so I guess we don't have access to all of that stuff that I just said that we've had. Oh, wait. I didn't even look at support. Alright, there we go. First aid. Chance of recovering 20% of maximum HP amount when HP damage is taken. So good if it actually works. Because if not, it doesn't work. Alright. So we have another... Kind of an attack, which is aerial, anti-air attack, short range only. Hold the attack button down to initiate, which will cost 10 HP. Um, for some reason, it cost more HP to use on the circle button than it does. Okay, because the damage is increased. Yeah, that's right. Because we're using the uh, stronger attacks, the damage is... 1.5% or 1.5 times greater than your regular attack, which is which is going to be aerial. So my Blaze of Fury Act was actually taking 20 HP with the strong attack will take 40 HP. Which is not something we really want to mess around with. So I'm going to switch over to aerial, which is a anti-air attack, which might be good depending on what we're doing and... Uh, we don't have enough CP to use uh, Blade of Fury. Actually, we sh should be good. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep Blades of Fury. Because I don't think we're gonna have to worry about flying enemies for quite a while. Anyways, we can go through the door. Yippee! Oh, and now we have some dead skeletons. Very fantasy-esque. Um, actually, I kind of really wonder, like... Fantasy Star... Was originally that mix of sci-fi and fantasy, right? Or was it just straight-up fantasy in the beginning? Because I thought 
eventually they went to um, they went to more science sci-fi or at least the one on the GameCube was which I thought was something stops enemy movement for a short time no nope, don't care for that because I'm gonna basically attack all the enemies anyways and fresh sage um, skeleton bro shouldn't be too much of a problem Where is he? Oh, he's behind me. I had to look at the map and see where that skeleton was. Here we go. It's no good. The door's locked and it's much too strong to break down. So, can't go that way. So, let's go along the right path. All right, new enemy. So, little Mr. Uh, Nobleman is, uh, oh, we actually did something sweet. Ooh, but we didn't get the launch. I don't think this guy does get launched in the air. Yeah, he doesn't get launched. Unfortunate. But Nobleman is hanging out with skeletons now. Isn't that interesting? Maybe they're really necromancers. So this Norton guy's an off world of two. What he's doing here. Alright. So we got ourselves a save point. Um, which I will use in just a second. I don't think there's anything we can really click on, but this does reveal that Norton is not from this world. He's off planet, probably stranded just like us. Well, let me go ahead and save. Man, I really wish I could control the music volume and the voiceovers in, like separately. Where can I go? Is this open yet? Yeah, it's not open yet. Actually, hold on. Did I get that wrong? Was there something I could do? I think there was something I could do. Oh, yeah. This is a screen for entering the password. It's asking for three digit number. So, um, if you were paying attention to the, uh, um, to the, uh, walls while you were walking around the, uh, fortress or the ruins, um, there were numbers on the wall, red numbers, and those numbers are actually the code. And I actually do remember the code, if I'm not mistaken. It's this, right? Hey, I got it right. Sweet. Um, I think I heard a door open somewhere. Alright, so now let's save. My bad, I do lots of saving. Yes, override. Here we go. Let's go find Norton. I think it would have been... Whoops, not this way. This goes back to the beginning. I want to go to where the door that was closed... There he is. Nicholas, you okay? Now I'm dead. Faye, why are you here? Because I want to be. That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. I... I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Must leave. This is bad. I better hurry. Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator. Or. Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my Nina. communicator. What am I thinking? There's no time. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Hold on, Nicholas. I'll get you out.
Hang in there, Nicholas. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, don't cuss at me. I'm your savior. Don't say those bad words. Right. My translator was built into that communicator. Ah, there you go. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. Freeze! <laughs> and immediately put him back down. What is up with your eyes? <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. And your teeth. Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that world. Right. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh, man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing, and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Huh? That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys, they're dead before. They were trying to send out a distress signal, and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> that crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilled milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm going to make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. It's guys like you. Huh? What the? Ah, uh, there you are. <gasps> I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. Uh-oh. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well, then who are you? Cliff Fitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. 
Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? You talking to me? You think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! All right, I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. I gotta say, I really do like Norton's voice actor. He's got that certain amount of craziness. Anyways, there's actually three battle trophies you can get in this fight alone. One for not taking any damage. Um, I believe with your main character, maybe? Possibly? Um, another one... Oh, really, thank you for knocking him out of my way. Another one for beating him within 30 seconds. And another one for using only the metal pipe. So, there's those are the three battle trophies you can get. I don't think I'm going to get any of them. Oops. Oh, gosh. There we go. Blade of Fury really works wonders. Oh, and I did not get that trophy. Um, Blade of Fury actually works quite well because it's a combo. And you're gonna explode for me? Too late for And we have our second character, Cliff. Not to be mistaken with Biff from Back to the Future. Well, so much for that guy. But I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man, and he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Where that one dude from Ratchet and Clank? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. <gasps> Another communicator. Is this a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh, those communicators kind of look like uh, the remote mines from 007 Goldeneye. Uh, um, thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just... My boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess, thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Uh-oh. Just kidding. Don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now, and I did rescue you, so no complaining. That stare. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Tell me. Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah. I do know what your old man Dr. Leingod was researching. 
You mean symbological genetics? My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right. Symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind. That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendine. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So, are you coming or not? Why are my eyes closed? Okay, I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. Alright, here comes heavy music again. Yep. That dude's dead. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to really grab here. So, we're gonna go to the exit. We'll go back to Whipple. There's a chair over there in that corner for some reason. Um, but yeah, there were three battle trophies you could get. You only have access, or you're only going to be able to do two of them at this point. The one involving the metal pipe is actually one that you won't be able to do on this playthrough. I won't let your efforts go to waste. You done? Okay, I'm gonna blow the place. Alright, music box parts obtained. We're also going to just kind of go. Whoops, and got attacked by a skeleton. Didn't see him. <laughs> there we go. Cliff got the noble man. Alright. Cliff helped us out in that fight. How generous. And uh, we'll just go run and run and run and run all the way back to Whipple. Watch the explosion from afar and roast some hot dogs and eat some s'mores. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. Such a Debbie Downer, man. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay, that's the back side of the building. So we want to go towards this way. And I don't think I explored the entirety of this area for sure. So I'm going to put this on. Kind of just go around and see. There wasn't anything over there. Was there anything this way? And don't yeah, there's an area up to the northwest. I see. Oh more oh great, we got attacked. Rear attack. Attack from behind. Yeah, when you get rear attacked, um your fury starts at zero. So definitely let Definitely let that uh go down. <laughs> or let that go up rather. That way uh you can have you can actually attack and do stuff. Oh man, if only I could talk. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see if there's any uh, chests. There's another fungal thing. Look at all the bonuses we have. Oh, poke him. There we go, got him. I'd have preferred a more worthy. Oh yeah, skill point three, battle capacity points one. Oh, look at all the battle trophies we got. 
I think the bonuses come from how many battles we do in a row. I actually don't know. Because we have quite a lot of them. Here I go. Looks like an even match. And what I should do is actually check and see uh, what cliff setup is battle. It doesn't have anything about... Oh! Heals HP gradually as the character rests. We'll give him standby HP. He did get um, some extra CP, but he doesn't have any abilities, unfortunately. He does have some SP. But I actually really want to bump his attack up. Now, my question is, do we share SP? And no, we do not. Okay, so each character has their own SP, which is really good. Actually, hold on. Did I have any other support? No. Okay, that's fine. Just making sure. Because I tend to press buttons really fast, and I kind of lose track of what I have and all of that. Is there something back here? Oh my gosh, that water so loud it wasn't this loud before oh okay let's head back to the entrance I think that's everything that I can do in this area oh, wrong area I'm gonna go this way down the center I don't believe I've gone here either so we'll explore this path see a little bandit dude Band of Keith guys from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Only thing I remember from that, or of Band of Keith, was uh, how they edited his uh, fingers to look like he was like he had finger guns instead of the real gun. Man, that show was heavily edited. Like seriously. Like they got rid of all weapons and cleavage and all of that stuff. Some of the cards also changed, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it's just crazy like if you actually read about all the things that they've edited in that show um blueberries have, have i been to this area i have not well i've been to the area but not this part of the area because i was like i'm seeing items here or i'm seeing some chests here that i know i should have ex i should have gotten all right so let's head back to whipple village Carry that little boy back to bed. Finish up quick and get back here. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Don't keep me waiting too long, kid. Got it. He's just asleep. He wouldn't leave you alone, Mina. Really? Really? Yeah. There. <gasps> the music box has been fixed! With this creepy melody. Time for me to go. Goodbye. All right. We're going to let this kid sleep and be merry for the rest of his life. Except he's going to know that his parents are dead. But that's besides the point. We're actually gonna go. Oh, what's going on here? So tell me, what am I supposed to do now? You were the one who said we should go join up with him. That that fool. What do I have to show for it now? It's too late now. What's done is done. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, what are you going to do about this? My life is ruined. 
I swear, you better take responsibility for you what you've done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta remember to cover it up sometimes, bud. Whoops. Skip, 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 skip. Um, we're gonna go to the mayor's house real quick. It seems you have rid us of that Norton. You are the savior of our village. Thank you so very much. Oh, yes. Will you not take this as a token of our gratitude? No, I insist. It is a charm passed down through the generations here in our village. The Medicentra Pyroxene obtained. This is a an accessory, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. And it is a very good accessory. Stone said to have a wondrous power. Um, what it does... Yeah. It does all that. It basically um, halves the amount of HP you use for battle skills, which is crazy good for this early in the game. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're going to save it here, and I'm actually going to end the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information while you're at it give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series and i will see you guys in the next video